all right so in this video we talk about what are roll up summary fields right roll up summary fields as the name suggests they roll up information and summarize information for all the children on the parent level so if you have to fetch any kind of child summary or aggregate your information and show it on the parent object you can use roll up summary fields right there are some limitations to it but it can be used for certain use cases okay now let's take a look at two use cases that we will be discuss, uh, discussing. The first one is we need to count the number of child records for a given parent record. Okay, let's say we have a standard object and we want to count all the child records that it has, right? How do we figure that out? We'll use some rule of summary fields. And the second use case is find the child record with the maximum revenue of all records for a given parent. Okay, so let's assume that there is a child record or a child object which has the field revenue and we need to fi figure out which child record is that has the maximum revenue. Okay, and we need to put that particular record on the parent level. So let's try to do these two use cases. Let's move on to the org and first of all the important limitation or the only way you can use roll up summary field is if you have a master detail relationship okay so if you have a master detail relationship between the parent and child only in that case you can use roll up summary fields so i have a custom object here let's go to setup first of all let's try to set things up let's go to objects i am using the classic version because it's a bit faster for me uh, you can also use the lightning version all right so here i have a object that's called scenario tracker and I have a master object here that's called account right so if I go to scenario tracker and take a look at the custom fields I see that I have a master detail with account object right so what I can do is I can create scenario tracker records and I can check things on the account level using roll up summary fields now first of all let's create some records on the scenario tracker object I'll just go ahead and say new I'll say record one check value 150 and this should be let's say test partner account save and new okay this should check value should always be less than okay i might have some validation for some other video let's save and new record 2 35 test partner account all right so let's create two records under the same account test partner account and if i go to the test partner account i should be seeing two scenario tracker records here okay now what i want to do is i want to create a roll up summary field so we'll have to always create the roll up summary field on the parent object now what's our first use case our first use case is count the number of child records for a given parent so i'll go to fields and i'll create a new field and this will be a roll up summary if i click on new so i can choose the roll up summary option here that says a read only field that displays the sum minimum maximum of field in a related list of the record or the record count of all records in the related list right so these are the limitations but these are the things that you can do you can either display the sum the minimum the maximum or you can also show the record count so i'll just go ahead and choose roll up summary click on next so i'll just call it total scenarios right and let's go ahead and click on next And here I have different options. What is the summarized object? So it's asking me what child object do you want to summarize? So here I should have all the options and I have scenario trackers here. This is spelled a bit wrong, but that's okay. Scenario trackers. And what I can do here is very limited. I can either count, I can do a sum, min or max. So our first use case is count the records, right? So I'll click on count. And here you have a filter criteria. If you want to filter out your uh, child records, you can also do that. But here for this use case, let's count all the records or all the child records that there are. Let's click on next. let's provide visibility to the system admin and this is read only field so you cannot modify it you can just view it let's click on next let's add it to the account layout and let's click on save right so that's our first roll up summary field and let's take a look at our account record so if i go to test partner account so if you notice total scenarios are two it's auto populated right so this is giving me the count and this is a locked field what if i go ahead and create one more scenario tracker let's go ahead and say new scenario tracker and let's create record 3 and let's give it another value let's click on save so my roll up summary field should auto, should be auto populated and it should say 3 now so this is saying 3 all right so that's our first use case what is another use case that we want to try we want to see which child record has the maximum revenue or rather let's check maximum check value 
all right i have a check value field on my scenario tracker object let's check this find the child record with the maximum check value of all records for a given parent so here let's create another roll up summary field right so here i'll again choose scenario trackers and this time i want to choose the max option right and which field do i want to aggregate i want to aggregate the check value field so you'll have the relevant fields available and you can choose any one of these aggregate functions okay and i'll choose all records again and i'll click on next So now that the field is created let's go back and now let's refresh and let's see what this field holds right so this says the maximum check value is 200 now let's quickly check how is the maximum check value 200 let's go to scenario trackers and let's take a look at these three records so the check value here is 200 this one is also 200 and this one is also 200 so i believe there's some workflow that i have written that is updating these values to 200 but let me just quickly check and just change it so this is probably just from another video let me just turn that off and let's see so update check value to 200 i'll just deactivate this and i'll also go to the object and deactivate the workflow sorry the validation rule right so i'll just go to objects and here i have a validation rule that i just want to delete right let's not put that check anymore yeah now let's go ahead and just update any one of these records so let's just make this 350 and let's click on save and once we do that let's take a look at our parent record and let's see what's the maximum value that's coming here let's refresh and this is now 350 right so this is how your roll up summary fields will work you can aggregate information on the parent level based on the child object records you can also add filters but the limitation is that you would have to have a master detailed relationship with between the parent and child or else you won't be allowed to create a roll up summary field all right great thank you